kind of lonely, I think. I think I know. One of my favorite movies is Castaway. Movies like that, or I Am Legend, where it's just one character, and they figure out how to live life alone. It might be kind of sad, but it's interesting how we adapt. I don't even know what day of isolation it is anymore. I mean, this feels like it's just normal life at this point, which is very strange because this isn't the life that I had ever planned. I'm actually really happy though because I've been able to get into my creative side again. Are you filming? Yes. I, it just pooped on my head. Mushy poop on my head. Okay, so I think the better shit's done. <laughs> because it's not something your mind can take in and I work primarily on my mind and logic and logic doesn't get you where I want to be like in myself. My emotions are just as bipolar as April weather to be honest. But you can just see life growing all around us so it's a bit of a reason to be happy and observe it. I've been holding this peep every single day since it was hatched, and its name is Fish. She'll listen to the power of now with me. I miss the gym so badly. I've been working out, I've been doing my home workouts, but I miss the gym, and I miss training people too. I know we've already been through this of like chickens hatching and stuff, but it's happening again. Except these are mine. <laughs> It'll probably be hatched by the morning. Oh, he's like, I'm ready to come out. But these are our lar lar bars, which are basically four ingredients, and they're relatively healthy. So a lot of those. These are all granola type bars. They're all different, but a lot of like kind bars. And uh, I had a bit more Cliff bars, but I've been eating them. So there's a bunch of cliff bars and then a bunch of protein, these one protein bars, which are actually pretty tasty, but they have whey in them, so I don't like to eat too many of those. I'm not going to eat any of these keto things. I don't follow the keto diets or the Atkins diet. I don't, I'm not sure about all these quest bars. Um, I might have them if I'm desperate or really hungry. And then these I love the most is that they're pretty simple ingredients too. So these... And these are basically what I got it for. I just wanted, I just organized all of them for no reason. It seemed fun. Five bucks, what you think? 
Sometimes a people have trouble hatching and you're not supposed to help them, but if it's been more than 20 to 24 hours, they kind of need help out and it's kind of a life or death situation then. You gotta keep pushing, you can't give up, I know, it's hard. You gotta keep going. Come on, I believe in you, little peeper. You gotta go, little peeper. You did it. You came all the way out. You did it. Kind of. The little guy. I mean, nature's pretty brutal. Little Daniel here probably would have died out in real nature because he needed help hatching. So if I'm not happy now, I'm not happy in the past or the future, or the present. So I think I need to stop searching for something that's going to make me happy and some abstract thing that I can just, you know, have a relationship or have a partner or have enough money or be able to travel here or live there or have this or that, it's not like that. I have to be happy now. You're not supposed to be out. Oh, come on, you gotta herd them back in for me. I think you taught them how to get out. Go and get you, herd them in. Well, I guess I'm just gonna be a shepherd out here and just make sure they don't go on the road till mom gets home. You wanna be a shepherd with me? Oh, I love you. I love you. You're such a good boy. Not like that sheep. Not like that sheep. You're such a good boy. Well, you thought I couldn't get any cooler? I'm a shepherd now, like, fuck yeah. I know that they like green, so perhaps I got them. We have captured them. Come with me, my love. Let's go explore the universe. Come on, let's go. Gotcha, come here. Sometimes it's hard when you're lonely, and I'm still trying to figure that out. Comment below if you're dealing with loneliness during like the quarantine. I don't really, you know, I, I love you. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm just, I've had years, my whole life has been me coping with life in a, oh, it'll get better. I have kind of hope in the future, this or that, but to unlearn this from my whole life experience and also from my ancestors as well probably is a big deal, so it's probably gonna take some time. I want to learn how to be and find the worth in me beneath my mind and emotions because I'm not my mind and emotions so that's what I've been learning lately anyways it's kind of random but I didn't put on makeup today but I'm gonna go edit and it's the deep philosophical lesson talk for the day baby baby